Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to potentially work around an issue with the Discord webcam not working properly. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend doing would be to just close and save out of any open programs and applications, restart your computer, and attempt to launch a Discord application and see if then the webcam is resuming its normal function. If it is not, something else we can go ahead and try here would be to open up the Start menu, select the setting gear icon on the left side where you hover over it, it says Settings, go ahead and left click on that. You want to go select the Privacy tile, and then scroll down on the left side underneath App Permissions and select Camera. Make sure where it says Allow Apps to Access Your Camera is turned on. And then and under here where it says Choose which Microsoft Store apps can access your camera. If you see Discord in here, make sure it's toggled to the On position. So another thing you can go ahead and try would be to do that. A third thing you can try here would be to actually uninstall your camera driver and then just by restarting your computer or by plugging it back in it should automatically reinstall. So we're going to do that and in order to do that we're going to open up the star menu again, type in device manager, best result should come back with device manager so go ahead and left click on that. You want to locate something that says imaging devices. I don't have one in my case, uh, I don't have a webcam hooked up to this desktop, but otherwise you would go ahead and actually right click on it and select uninstall device, and then you would restart your computer, make sure it's plugged in at that point, and then if it's an internal built-in webcam, you don't have to unplug or plug anything back in, but if it's an external one that you plug in with a USB connector, then you would need to plug that back in when your computer restarts just so it'll detect it and then reinstall the drivers for it. So pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.